faithfully and impartially discharge and impartially discharge and perform and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as coroner as for, for the parish of Orleans as coroner for the parish of Orleans according to the best of my ability according to the best of my ability and understanding and understanding so help me God so help me God congratulations Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To welcome everyone for being here for this most historic occasion. For those of you who do not know, Dr. Dwight L. McKenna is now the first elected black, MD black, coroner. Black. black. <laughs> you have witnessed history. I just wanted to take the opportunity on behalf of President Verrett from Xavier University, who the McKenna family has long supported throughout the years, to offer a special thanks from the Xavier alumni and to welcome you into the fold as the new coroner for the city of New Orleans. Truly a momentous occasion, changing history each and every day. Eventually, this country will learn to appreciate what we have to offer as a people. And because of legacy individuals like yourself, you continue to provide us with the hope of a better tomorrow. Chief of Batiste, Chief Batiste, Xavier University Police. Congratulations, Dwight, on behalf of the Lab Rollery and the Twire families. We're so very proud of you, and we're there for you. We support you 100%. We are so very proud of Dr. Dwight McKenna. We've always known that his time was coming. It's here, and we're celebrating it and celebrating him. The reality is that this weekend starts a new chapter, not just in Dr. McKenna's life, not just in Mayor Cantrell's life on Monday, but in your lives and in the lives of African Americans from north to south, from east to west, every place in this United States will feel the movement of this needle. Unity. Believe me when I tell you that they're going to find stuff going on at the coroner's office that's been going on for 500 years, but they just discovered it because Dr. McKenna's in charge. Now. But you have to remain steady and steadfast. The same dedication that brought you here today for his inauguration, you got to keep it for the four years. And then you got to continue keeping it so whoever, whomever is fortunate enough to follow in his footsteps in that office will have the protection of you, the community that produced it. So I could go on and on about what a great man he is, but I'd like to say for all of the Meharians all over the world how much we admire him for his accomplishments. And he is a living example of our motto, which happens to be worship of God through service to mankind. And I'm just honored to be a part of this program. And Dr. McKenna, thank you for making history for all that you do. Thank you. It's really not about us. It's about what we give back. It's about what we do to make the city a better place, the neighborhood a better place. And I am uh, very confident in one thing, and I will always say it, that the city of New Orleans, and African American males particularly, are better off because Dr. McKenna, one, lived, two, was on the school board, and three, is now the coroner. So here's Dwight, with all of his integrity and his honesty, being put to the test in a place where people are sometimes hoping he fails. That they see how many people love him and appreciate him and respect him. Right. And we'll take advantage of the fact that he is our coroner. Right. Not just for this community, but for this entire city of New Orleans. And they can trust that this operation will be done with integrity, with dignity, and with pride. So, the journey was not easy. I think you all know it was at times treacherous, the election was very negative, uh, some very terrible things were said. But Martin Luther King said, if your adversaries don't speak ill of you, you're not doing your job. In the end, um, victory is sweet, I must admit. We ask you, dear God, to please continue to keep a hedge of protection around Dr. McKenna and around the McKenna family. Please continue to order his steps, and as you order him, dear God, in the direction you would have him to go, please allow him to remain humble, and allow him, dear God, to remain hungry. Full of the faith that the darkness has brought us, sing a song. Full of the hope that the present has brought us, 
Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is won.